It's midday, a warning for parents after nine North Texas teenagers overdosed in less than five months. Three of them died. Fentanyl has become a nationwide problem, and it can be up to 50 times stronger than heroin. In this case, federal agents say it came in the form of pills that can be unassuming to students. Investigators will they trace the drugs to a single home in Carrollton near R.L. Turner High School and several middle schools. Megan Mitchell reports. I just want to reiterate those numbers once again. Three teenagers have died and six others were hospitalized. And I think this is a clear example of just how dangerous street pills can be. I mean, what these kids thought was Percocet ended up being laced with fentanyl. And now this morning, two people are in custody. According to court documents, Luis Navarrete and Magali Mejio Cano face a charge of conspiracy to distribute a controlled substance. Carrollton police identified eight juvenile dealers ages 14 to 16 who were also involved in dealing with the drugs. Now, fentanyl is extremely addictive. It's extremely deadly. Experts say that you can't feel it, see it, taste it, but it is 100 times stronger than morphine. There are signs that you can look out for if you're a parent or if you're a loved one. Dr. Brad Schwal is a psychologist who says that it is normal for kids to pull back in their teen years, but when it's taken to an extreme, you need to be aware. When there are problems and when there are behaviors that are dangerous, that withdrawal can be more extreme. So we're alert, we're in tune, we're watching for behavior changes. I believe the most important lesson is that we must realize that any of our children are at risk for making a choice uh, that can be lethal. Carrollton Farmers Branch ISD has a letter on its website right now addressing the dangers of fentanyl and what the district is doing to try and fight it. The district says it's made multiple drug awareness presentations to parents and students and it's working on more in the coming weeks. It also has Narcan at all district facilities, which is used to reverse the effects of opioids. The district is also doing random canine searches at middle and high schools. And as this community mourns, the governor, Governor Greg Abbott, even acknowledged this yesterday. He said that state legislators are trying to make fentanyl poisoning now a murder charge. Reporting here in Carrollton, I'm Megan Mitchell. Back to you. Megan, thank you. Fighting fentanyl overdoses is a big priority across the state. Many Texas Democrats have called for fentanyl test strips, and recently Governor Greg Abbott said that he now supports decriminalizing those testing strips. A couple months ago, he also visited with University of Houston researchers who've developed a fentanyl vaccine which could potentially block the drug's ability to enter the brain.